Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And at the start of today's episode, we are on 2120 total level and on 33,000 total league points. So we are very well up there. At the time of editing this video, we are sitting on 91,299 subscribers, meaning that yesterday over 1,000 new people decided to subscribe. Thank you very much, everyone. I really, really appreciate it. At this pace, 100k will soon no longer be just a dream and I would just like to say thank you very much. And I'm currently just editing the previous episode, just about finishing it off here. I'll end up getting 97 range first before I move on to something else. But as always, I think I want to start off with a little bit of skilling, then transition into quite a little bit of PVM. So I expect this episode to be a lot of fun. Right, well, 97 range will do for now. I don't really have enough bolts, so I have to buy more of these. But I think I want to transition into a bit of herbivore right now. I I think I can get my hunter up quite a bit, maybe even until 99, and that'll help me with the herbs for the herb lore as well. Yep, it does seem like I will be doing some herby. Look at the XP per hour, over 2 million. And on top of that, I'm banking the herbs. It's awesome, and that was a 92 herb. I do need to catch 500 of these in total. I think that is something I will go for. It might get me very close to 25 million hunter XP by just doing it, plus it's a ton of points. Receive a Torstall from a Herbivore, 250 points. Ha! Huh, I didn't even know that was a task. Very nice, and I got it on KC number 74. That was 250. That has to be quite rare then. Well, I had no idea. Right then, here we go. The first out of three tasks that you can get while you are catching Herbivore is to catch 100 of them. And we have just completed that for 250 points. It's a big, big, big point booster. The next one is on 250 and then the next one is on 500. On top of that, I'm getting these unidentified fossils all the time. And I will be able to complete my Varrock Heart Diaries when I finally put those in the museum. And uh, I just bank over here, doo -doo 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 -doo, just like so, and then I TP right back into action. And here is 94 Hunter, very very nice. I think I actually want to do one task that I haven't done yet for the longest of time, and that is to thieve a Renar Seed of a Master Farmer. Plus I need some free thieving XP anyways. Also in the process we got all the way to 87 Fletching from 85 I believe, and I just do this while running around, very nice. And here is 83 thieving. Hey, finally got the Raynar seed. I'm currently in the mood to just do a bunch of tasks that I have been procrastinating to do. First of which will be to just fill up some uh, some of these display cases. Okay, so that's this one done. Nice. Okay, solid. That's two. And as always, we're just gonna chug these into Runecrafty. How much are we looking? 32k XP. It's not that much, but it's, it's quite okay. It's quite okay. So, I could still fill a bunch of small displays, but most importantly, I'm getting these kudos. And I need a bunch of kudos to finish my Varog Hard Diaries. So, there is another one, and I don't think I can get another one from the easiest right now. Boom, runecrafting. Well, I never imagined I would be spending my time intentionally killing this ancient fungi over here. Um, well, zygomites rather. I cannot actually take a task of these for some reason. I don't know if that's intended or if that is a bug. But the reason why I'm killing these is because I do believe this is the fastest way of getting phytophosphite and calcite. Cal I don't know how to say this in English, I'll be honest. And basically, I may be fucked up a little bit, right? Because I threw... All of my fossils in this goddamn hopper. And now I just need to add this calcium and phosphate. And then I think that's how this works. But I have an issue, right? And the issue is I dropped so many of these in here that it just keeps going. So I have no idea how much of that I'll need. But this is at least going to be very solid prey XP. So I'll just keep killing these for as long as this whole thing is active. Uh, because I do not want to throw away the fossils. Um, so I guess I'm stuck doing this for a while. There we go, the chemical process in the pool has finished and you should now transfer the contents to the rinsing pool. Alright, I've never done this, so let's just give it a shot. So, if I check this... Okay, I need to maybe open this. There it is, and then if I check that... Oh, look at that! Oh man, that's gonna be some experience right there. Right, let's see how this works. So if I TP to dig site... 
the first thing I honestly oh wait wrong, wrong teleport I legit just wanted to do one but then I was like oh, let's just click everything and see what happens so here we go we put this here and that should be a task but 8000 XP in prayer 50 point task and if I click this fast 16k for those oh that's nice and I needed prayer XP as well 77 prayer just then oh that's beautiful look at that what about this one? 24,000 for that one as well. Almost another prayer level. Like one bone away. Okay, nice. That's another task completed and a bunch of experience gained. Okay, so we are uh, starting off by getting a small pouch and I think I can make my way all the way up towards the large pouch for another somewhat easy task. And the best way I think to do this is to just kill the leeches. And here's the medium one, perfect. And here is a large pouch, so if I just fill it up, there it is, 50 pointer, very nice. Took me 89 abyssal leeches to go from small. And that is giant pouch, I actually came here the next day, but I'll put it in a reasonable order in the video. Here is 100 points for filling this one, and that took me 120 leeches from zero to giant. These are the ones I used to kill so many of when I first started playing this game. And I would kill these in free to play, with like, in like full rune, rune scimitar. And yet here we are just turning around one, one shotting all of them. It's, it's, it's interesting how it changes, because my earliest memories of this place is just camping this place 24-7 on my 40 defense, 40 attack, like 90 strength account. Uh, but yeah, we need to get all the school pieces for the diary. 30 flesh crawlers for a bottom of scepter. 43 kills later, top of scepter. 84 anchors later, we got ourselves a left school half. If I attach this to that, and this to that, and this to that, there is a skull scepter right over here. I think you can somehow imbue it in the middle. Yep, all you do is you speak to Soul's tune and you show him the boots of whichever boots you have and he does your scepter and then you invoke it. And that will be just a regular task, I guess. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would be a task as well, but it isn't. All right, and that will be Shades of Morton completed, I think. Perfect, a bunch of XP, but most importantly, I needed that to make a magic pyre log and burn it, and that was an elite task. I actually have everything that I need to complete elite diaries, so I think I'll go ahead and do that. Also, if I use this on that guy, is gonna be permanently cured basically. I have just completed the hard Mauritania diary, which is weird because that's the first one I'm doing out of all, but basically all I need to do is restore points at nature altar, very easy, complete the game of trouble brewing, extremely easy, and then for elite, loot the barrows chest while wearing any complete barrow sets, which means we will be returning to barrows momentarily, but first let me do easy, let me do medium, and then we collect all the rewards, and then we do some barrows. And this will be the easy tasks done. Very nice. 10 points, I think. This is probably the dumbest step ever, but I need to sit in here for 20 minutes. And I'm not actually gonna play the minigame. We're just gonna sit here and wait. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but I mean, I know when I'm doing this, because it's diaries, but I don't want to do this. But 20 minutes of waiting. Okay, please tell me this works, because I just spent 20 minutes doing it. There it is, it works. 50 points for that one, and that will be... All of the Mauritania easy, mediums and hards done and that's gonna be good because I get the legs that I can teleport basically to barrows with and now I just need to do barrows until I finish off a full set. Right, let's go ahead and claim our rewards. All right, let's speak to Le Sabre. <laughs> Not quite sure how to say that but firstly Mauritania legs number one, uh, secondly Mauritania legs number two and thirdly Mauritania legs number three. I can now teleport to birth the rot and this is pretty much the inventory I'll take just one prayer potion two karamb ones just in case and let's take this XP lamp and put it all into room crafting 40k we get up to 79 then we chuck another one in there for 120k we don't even get a level and then we chuck another one in here for 240k and we are up to 81 room crafting. I slowly have to get this up to 91 for the Karamja Elite Diaries, I think. Because with that I'll be able to craft double the nature runes. Uh, but yeah, runecrafting is gonna be the hardest one with my relic choices to train. That's why all the XP lamps are going in that skill. Everything else will be manageable. Prayer might be a little bit complicated, but it will be manageable. But now, I can just teleport over here and start with my Barrows runs.
Well, I'm starting off on KC number 101. Let's see how long it takes to complete a set of barrows. Ooh, there we go. Darok's helm. I think that is a new unique for uh, Darok. So now I'm missing one Darok item, one Varak item, or one Carol item to complete the set. Oh, back to back, Gothen's helm. And once again, we have the body, we have the legs, we are only missing the Gothen spear. That is actually really good. Now I have four sets that have three pieces, so missing one piece. This is it. Oh no, okay. Third Arim rope skirt, no Arim top just yet. Arim top would be kind of nice for Nilo maybe. And the KC is 112 right now. Can we get a back to back again? And yes we can. Wow, another unique Arim staff. Now, if I was a major, this would be probably the most important staff I could have ever gotten. Currently there is a bug and it makes basically Arim staff one tick attack. It's it's ridiculous, but a unique is a unique and we will take it. Okay, can we get uh yeah, wait, is that it? Is that it? <gasps> That is so good, actually. I think I just completed full Gotham set. I think. Uh, wait. Wait, I'm looking at the right side here. Let's try to find it together. But I think that's it, right? So we got a Gotham body over here. We got a this, we got a that. And I know I have a bunch of chain skirts that are not showing here for some reason. Or maybe I am just blind. But I know- Oh, they are right here. Okay, we've done it. Nice. I don't know. I don't need to do bad. I don't need to do this shit anymore. See, I don't have a teleport out. No, I need to go out and just. Oh wait, I can go here. Burf the rot. Perfect. Right. What I can, dude. It's a, actually such a good set as well because I can use it at Bandos. I can probably use it at Zami. I can most likely use it at even something like a Sara as well to heal off a minions at the end of each kill. Oh man, that's sick! Alright, here it is, full Gothen. Is that a task? Yes, it is. Only a hundred points for that, but uh, what we have to do right now is we have to, I think, loot a chest. Alright, and here it is. The reason why we did all of that was to wear full Gothen and open the damn chest to get another Verax uh, helm. And we have also completed an Elite Mauritania Diary. Would you look at that? Look at this absolute unit! Lovely, right, okay, let's claim the rewards, chuck it all into Runecraft. Alright, La Sebre, or whatever your name is for the second time, there it is. An antique lamp, and let's see the XP drop, I'm ready. I do not know what to expect here, but I know it's gonna be a lot. Chuck it all into Runecrafting, 800,000. Three full Runecrafting levels from just doing all of that. Now that was sick right and now we have these legs if we ever do more battles which i don't think i need to because i have the full set i think i've done everything i had to when it comes to barrows we might return at some point to test out let's say full varax full something else but for now this is going to be extremely helpful having this full gothen for something like battles or zami I just fletched over 25,000 arrow shafts, which should be enough for 99 fletching. I do think I'll need around 50,000 to finish off the 25 mil goal, but for now, this is good. I think I want to do some Herbie right now. I'm so close to 99 Hunter, I might as well finish it and do fletching at the same time. Okay, and I think that will be the Hunter level. There it is, 95 Hunter already, very solid. Here is one of the tasks that we gotta do. Killing an ancient wyvern, right? I don't know, I think they have some sort of decent drops as well, but I'm probably just gonna be here for one task to see what we can expect from these. There it is, this is the task, I think it is. 100 points for defeating this guy, very solid. I just clicked on the floor because I don't have any like ground items on and I just got granite boots. And here we go, I just caught 50 red cheese. Here comes the level 95 farming. Very nice. Um, I'm only doing magic trees right now because I can't be asked doing a full run. Uh, and yeah, I did. it's crazy. We'll, we'll, we'll be 99 in no time. Well, here goes nothing. Let's assign ourselves black demons. We are after zenite shards and we are after heavy ballista pieces. This is how my AFK sessions are gonna be like right now. Full screen on my other monitor, waiting for the vase to pop up and just mining until I get enough nuggets. 
Um, I also have to plant willow trees and then I have to use secateurs on them for the willow branches because I need to do that to make a basket. Basically, Falador Diaries are complete shit is what I'm getting from this all information. But the reason why I play on full screen is when my inventory is full, boom, I can click straight to the hopper. It's much easier, much more relaxing, and I can do something on the side while I do mining. Let's just say I forgot how long it takes to obtain only 20 golden nuggets. Uh, and that's only a medium task, and I have to get a lot of them. So I have to get, uh, what is this? So I have to get 40 plus 60, that's 100, plus 50, that's 150, plus 30, that's 180. And I only have 20 so far? What? It's taken me like 2 or 3 hours. Oh my god, I'm gonna need so long to finish this one. Well, I stayed here for well over 1.4 million mining XP and I'm only getting 400k an hour. Now, that is partially because I AFK a lot when I'm here, but partially because this is just really bad. And if I should check how many nuggets I have, I am not looking forward to this grind. Like, usually... I don't mind if something takes a long time, but when it comes to the- Oh, I have 30, 34! I have 34, and I've been here for, I swear, like, 4 to 5 hours, and I need to get 180. So, well, it's, uh, it's I guess, a spot where I will be every time I'm editing. But for now, enough editing, enough chilling, enough AFKing, let's go and kill more gorillas, and actually get a Zenite this time, because I think it's time. It's time to upgrade our range necklace. I don't think I have this drop yet. Heavy frame. I just need monkey tail, I believe. And then I think I will be able to make a ballista. And that's so many points right there. And that's like a really rare drop. That's like 1 in 500. 1 in 1,500 on the main game. So if I can get a monkey tail, we're looking at some very nice points right there. So that is like the second best option aside from Zenite that I could possibly get from here. And I guess we got another a ballista spring as well. It's, hey, you know, maybe we get a full ballista done in one trip. Who knows? But I already have three of those. So that is a very useless drop for me at the moment. There we go. We just got ourselves 98. 98 range already. All from gorillas pretty much. So one more level to go. I might be able to reach it even while going for Zenite. I'm currently 260 in with uh, two shards. So when I do reach 300 KC at that point I should be expecting three Zenites. Bruh, another pair of Ballista limbs, man. This is a third pair of those. I've done an entire task and I think we've gotten a frame, a uh, some sort of a Ballista piece and now the limbs as well. So almost every single thing. There it is. Okay, with one kill to spare on the task, we've gotten the Zenite. And I really just needed one right now. Oh, that's like perfect timing. On the kill count number 295. So basically, almost right at the drop rate, we get our third one, and that's gonna be a... I think it's Necklace of Anguish, I don't really know the full name of it, but that's gonna be a huge range upgrade from a glory. I do plan on killing this, um, maybe a lot more, just until I get a Ballista, but there's also tasks to kill not only 300, but also 750 and 1500 of the morning gorillas, which as you can imagine, will take a very long time to do, however... I really want to do it. All right, here we go. Thanks to the legends from my CC, we buy the first Onyx. Here's the second world, and here is the second Onyx. Those should be all the Onyxes I am ever going to need, I think. So yeah, let's go ahead and make a necklace. Here we go. Hopefully the last time we need to be here, because this place is annoying to get to. There it is. Oh no, we're going to have to come here one more time when we get the next Zenite. So let's cut it. Let's make our beautiful Zenite, and now I need to go to a furnace. All right, let's not make a mistake. Zenite necklace, and we use a level 7 enchant on the necklace to finally create a necklace of anguish. Look at it, it's beautiful. So now we have that, and the last one I still will be going for, because it's a big, big task, 500 point task to get a fourth Zenite and make it into a... Tormented bracelet. However, I really do not need it right now. And uh, yeah, this is going to be huge. I am going to attempt to find a world 
where pest control is running right now. I don't know if that will be possible, but if it is, it could be absolutely crucial for the future of TOB, because believe it or not, Void is actually better than full Bandos or full Carol or whatever I'm having. So I want to get full Void at some point in the near future, and I can train Fletching as I do it as well. Back in pest control with our Fletching gains, and here is level 88 Fletching. I can probably get this to 99 very quickly. Dude, this world is so laggy for an, any European playing here. Look, I click, look how long it takes. It's really... <laughs> this is crazy, man. It's so laggy, what? So when I'm fletching, it's taking me so long to even get to the point where I can fletch. But I'm gonna start pushing towards this 99, this 99, this 99, so... Uh, and on the same time we're getting that full void and that is 89 fletching still doing pest control and there is 90 fletching guess who's still doing pest control and here we have our first the dragon impling thank you zerg for this yoink and there it is 100 points and we get 188 dragon arrows easy 100 points i am finally planting my willows in order to uh well get my falador medium task done and uh here is 96 farming that's gonna be 99 very very soon i'm just planting a bunch of them because honestly i don't even know how this whole thing works but the reason why i'm doing it i need willow branches in order to weave a basket which is a farther medium task and I want to do it. And that is 91 fletching. Ah, interrupted by a start of the game. I wonder if I'll get 99 fletching first or if I'll get full void first. We'll see. All right, here we go. I actually didn't expect this one to be our uh, next 99. Uh, but there we have it. 99 range accomplished. And uh, this is also going to be my first skill cape that I will actually buy because it is going to be pretty much a better accumulator for me so we're gonna go ahead and claim that right after this pest control game here we are we are going to trade armor salesman buy a ranging cape I wonder if this is a hello buy one what I got scammed <laughs> I bought two. <laughs> oh my god well I guess we buy two, it is what it is, I'm lagging so hard on this world, it's not even funny, but there, we there it is, a cape that I will actually use when I train range, very solid, um, yeah, I think this is where we end it for today, it's been an absolute pleasure but being able to make this video for everyone, we are almost at 100,000 subscribers, we're getting like 500 to 1000 subs every video we post and I would really like to thank you guys. I appreciate it a lot. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. The next one is gonna be even more spicy, more PVMing, more drops hopefully, and more 99s. I wanna max, I will max. It is going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. If you guys missed any of the previous episodes, link in the description for the playlist. Feel free to check them out from the start if you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you all again very soon with another video. Stay safe and bye-bye.